My name is Rhapsody, and welcome back to the Darkest Dungeon, where I don't really know what I want to do this week. Uh, looking through all of these trinkets. Mustache creams, left, right, and center. Also got the option for Ancestor's Pistol, plus 20 accuracy on range skills. But the thing is, I already have things that bundle with range skills. They give me accuracy and something else, like damage usually, or crit sometimes. There's also the Lucky Talisman, which is nice. That's reasonable. But I don't know if I need it. I think actually I might make my first run at the Darkest Dungeon. So if I'm doing this, what do I take? I definitely need to take Bel Air. Uh, your Vertigo shouldn't be a problem? Maybe that's wrong. Maybe your Vertigo is a problem and I don't know. If you get pushed out of position, I'm screwed. So I guess I should actually hold off on you. Yeah, that's probably a better idea. Okay, we'll chuck you in here. Lord Release I also want to be locking out. But we'll chuck you in here. We'll remove your Vertigo. We'll prepare for our run at the Darkest Dungeon, I guess. I also want everyone at their highest resolve level. I don't really want to be taking any fives in because I want the extra 10% that they'll get towards their bleed resistance because I happen to know that's going to be very important. So I guess I want to take out a bunch of fives. Um, only a long mission would possibly level up by Nard. Unless, do I have... No, I don't. Okay, I don't have the portrait, so only long mission. But I think I might actually want to do two shorts if there's on offer. No, there's only mediums. Activate the shrines. I think I want to do the warrens, because I've got warren scrounger, warren's tactician, and there's no one holy in the warrens either. So it's not that bad. I do want to give you quick reflexes and lock out something, like anemic. But unfortunately, I can't do that right now because you need to be the one that I'm trying to level up. Um, I think I might want to take, like, Umfraville as, like, a frontline party member. Because I never really get to use you much, unfortunately. So it would be this. If I'm taking you as a frontline party member, like, my second liner has to be really good. But they also have to be really good not in second line. So unfortunately, I can't use Hound's Rush from the front line, so that kind of means Deporter isn't the person I'm looking for. Beauvoir might be, but I'd like to look into my other options first. Bodecock definitely would be fine either way. Uh, no, because you lose Iron Swan. McCray and Tamal, of course, always good. Warren's Explorer as well, but unfortunately you're a Warren's Phobe. I think I can actually deal with you being Warren's Phobic. Hmm. Can I? Bloodthirsty is actually going to be bad down here as well. Fear of Unholy. I think I actually do want to take Tamal. And Tamal becomes a stunner. So you pick up. Where is it? The Paralyzer Crest. Lowers your dodge a little, but your stun chance actually becomes significant. And then after that, I'm pretty certain you've only one option, which is take a Sun Ring. And then, of course, you are going to have to be taking a Sun Ring. And you do want Quick Draw Charm. Really? I want crit on charm on you. You just don't do enough damage with point blank. Hmm. What are our best range options? Yeah, Fuseman's matchstick is going to be really good. I think that actually might be all I need to put on the highwayman here. Maybe just like stack dodge. Because you've already got evasive. And you've already got, like, really high dodge. So if I put a little more dodge on you, maybe you become stupidly powerful, and I don't know. I think you do, actually. So where do I get my dodge? I think it's from here. 
little lower accuracy. I don't want to lower my accuracy, though. Gunslinger is what I usually want to do. For this kind of a build. Super high accuracy. Super high damage. Super high crit. Super... Yeah, that's, that's, that's definitely the build I want to be going with. I also need to upgrade your skills. Jules advance is just to move you forward. Get you back into position. In fact, speaking of moving forward and getting back into position, I think I might actually take Holy Lance. So if I do get shuffled out of position somehow, I can try and fix my party ordering. And that means if you're backline, I can actually afford to take Stalwart, which is what I was really hoping for. That looks really good to me as far as I'm concerned. We've got... A lot of... Uh, eh, not super high speed, unfortunately. We've got a few people on really high speed. But the more important thing is that we have people that we need to level up. Which is Umfraville and Bynard. And we've also got people carrying them, basically. Yeah. Okay, so if we're going to be taking you out... Womp reveal, you need to level up some stuff. So you can use pistol shot from the back lines. Seriously, upgrading this only gives you 5 accuracy. Ugh. Point blank shot is going to get 5 accuracy and a little bit more knockback. Some of these just don't seem worthwhile. You get a little more crit chance and a little more accuracy on grape shot. And Duelist's Advance actually doubles your percentage crit and increases your damage and your accuracy. Okay, that's more reasonable. I do want to start leveling up Open Vein a bunch. See if I can get it to actually be good. I just won't do the final level because the final level is super expensive. I just want to be able to see... Does it go to like 4? It does go to four bleed. Interesting. That's not great, but it's not super bad either. Or at least it's not as bad as it used to be. Okay, so... Trinket assortments. What are we looking at for these people? Umfraville, you've already got yours. You've already got yours. And then we've got Stalwit, who is definitely going to be taking our scout. Or one of our scouting trinkets, I guess. Really? Do I actually? Hang on. Warren Scrounger, 20%. Warren's Explorer, sorry, 30% total so far. Yeah, I'm only going to need the Ancestor's map and highlight. So you take the Ancestor's map. You also take the Tome of Holy Healing. Then you go Mass Crit, like I usually have you go. And... Ooh, extra accuracy? You do need to be more accurate. Just a little, though. Eh, you actually don't need to be that much more accurate. I don't have a free sun ring sitting around, unfortunately. Extra damage. You don't do damage. That's not your thing. Your thing is the bleed. So I need your bleed to always hit. But in this area, you pretty much do always hit your bleeds. I guess I can have you dodge the bleeds, and then I guess I throw away that... Whoa, I have a sun ring, really? Oh, I totally have a sun ring available. Yeah, take it. Just for the accuracy, basically. Totally reasonable party. Should be able to make it through a dungeon. Uh, we'll take a little more food than I need. That should be enough. And then a bunch of medicinal herbs and a bunch of bandages, because those are going to not only help us in combat, but also try and give us a little bit more food. And then the rest just goes into torches. Pretty good. All right, let's go. Each region has its own challenges. Assemble your party and supplies accordingly. That actually very rarely plays in. Alright, quest location immediately. Don't mind if I do. Free up an inventory slot. Slot. Slot, rather. Shrine is being decimated. Alright, that's uh, actually to destroy a tenth of. So. Glittering gold, trinkets, and baubles. 
paid for in blood. So I don't know exactly if that's the word they want to be using. Am I? Oh, damn it. I was really hoping I was about to get another one. Uh, none of those are good. I just want scrolls, really, so I can start burning off some negative traits. Absolve some sins. Oh, damn! Secret door, really? Well, we're going to start freeing up more slots for that, so totally okay. 110, 130, 130, 125. We'll have the 130 do it. I don't want to mess with anything right now. Okay, pop in here, quickly pick up Glory. Uh, the anti-venom is one of the least useful things that I could be encountering right now, so let's toss it. I'm actually going to take the chance here. There's a 10% chance you would have missed the disarm. Packs laden with loot are often low on supplies. 10, 15% chance, I think, actually. Yeah, the traps at Legend should have a 40% chance to not be disarmed. And since the highest disarm you can get is 135, there's always a 5% chance that they'll fuck you. You don't even hit his... Oh, I'm starting to remember why I didn't like you. You just don't hit as hard as someone who is specialized just to hit normally. And you have all of these different things, all of these different hoops I have to jump through for you to hit it all. All right, then. Um, yeah, I'll check the, check the stun chance on this. Nice. Next round, Grape Shot Blast is going to clear up. Exposed oh, to a killing God. blow. Where is all the dodge that you had? Once upon a time, not so very long ago. Nice dodge. But that was everyone in the party, so I don't think it counts. Uh, this nice, but Give you actually no fucked quarter. me. By moving this guy out of the area where the Jester can hit him. Yeah. Well. Oh, never mind. The Jester wasn't even going to act in time. You do not die to your bleed yet. As the fiend falls, but we'll see what we can blossoms. do about that. Swine Heaver is really quick. But I'm quicker. Uh, oh, so close to killing it. Continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. I have to eat a little food here. I want the emeralds. As the light and I want to start purchase, a stack. Spirits are lifted. And purpose is made clear. That is the correct party order. Good. I've got to constantly make sure that I a check fortune. whether or not Waiting the party order is spent. correct after every one of these fights now. Because I'm running this kind of a combo. Yeah. He did have a 10% chance to miss them. Okay, kill everything else. Kill the Swine Sword Champion last. That's how this one always goes. Drums in the deep. Not going to be doing much damage. Oh my god. One, 120. 140 plus 40, 180. So I had a 60% chance to stun you. Okay, I'm not super sad that I missed that now. I do want to focus specifically on getting down one person. Oh, damn. That's going to stun on. No? No. Perfect. Trot Retreat. That's not even a powerful ability. It's the ones that happen now that are going to fuck us. These are the ones we got to be scared of. Oh, 
I'm going to Duelist Advanced here, specifically to set up a repost that I'm going to be able to hit against this guy. You... Confidence that'll kill you. Surges as the enemy crumbles. He would have had an extra turn if I didn't do that. And then... Oh, come on. Uh, bleed is going to be enough. Oh, wow. Not only did we dodge all of the pig spear, but he dodged our response. And now you can't... Uh, can't this is how a life is you can't thinking. do actually anything against us. A lot of your best abilities are now useless. Actually start working on your stress, because that is going to be a problem moving on into the future. Just a little bit of stun there. Perfect. Buy myself some time to do the things I'm trying to do. Ah, yes! Solid crit heal right there. A little bit more stress reduction. Now that we're under 50, I don't really mind. We can just go for attacks. Crunching backhand. Does no damage. Gets crit in response. Executed. This is the kind of thing that I was really hoping that... Duelist's repost, or Duelist Advance, the repost being added to it, would actually allow characters to do it. It definitely seems like it's allowing some of it. With 40% protection, doing 17 damage is actually ridiculous. Oh, you're dead. <laughs> Prodigious size alone Bubble. does not dissuade the sharpened blade. It's unlikely, yeah, it's unlikely that I get another chest to open, but if I do, it's going to be worth more than 500. A handsome reward for a task well performed. And we'll also pop some here. And I think I actually just miss out on the rest of that. Sure, we'll go down here. More battles, but more loot. Remember to swap my party around, of course. Well yeah, that's the kind of opening you're really looking for if you're running this build. Okay, you hit for your max damage, you hit the bleed as well. Guess I just roll for the kill. Size has yeah. no intrinsic merit. See Unless if I get the chance to stun. Be considered a virtue. Also, that's just going to turn our torch a little up. So that's nice as well. A devastating blow. You're stress healing even when you're not intending to. I love it. I'm actually going to have to kill this corpse, though. Resist both move and stun. Oh, called it. have to hack away at this one. Okay, single shot actually being able to land would be enough to kill the Swine Slayer before it's turn. Oh, that'll do it. That'll actually do it perfectly as well. And with a little bit of stress heal as well. Uh, inspiring soon over here. Becoming ever more important. The Great higher the, the level the dungeon. Cuts on its own. Remember to swap my party before I do something else stupid. This is where these come in handy. If only treasure could staunch the flow of otherworldly corruption. Ah, I should have eaten two food on the jester there. Whoops, my bad. The light, the promise of safety. Okay, this is not a good fight to be in, but we might be able to deal with it. Who knows? It's actually looking really unlikely that I can though roll damage on this. See if I can kill the cultist champion before it becomes a problem. You're gonna have to get stunned. Please get stunned. Ugh! That's bad. That's really good, though. Now you're actually gonna die before it's your turn. And, even better than dying before it's your turn, you're not gonna leave a corpse, so it's gonna be way easier for me to kill the cultist. Which, although, apparently it was gonna be way easier anyway, because she's gonna get thrown under the bus by this swine at all. Uh, unfortunately, nothing I can really do to anyone else at the moment. Stressful incantation. 
It's also going to mark me. Damn it! I was really hoping for the kill on that one. Uh, okay. Big spear. Oh, I got dodged. Got dodged. Gonna try the stun again, because there's nothing really else that I can do as powerful. Impressive. Yep. Stress healing, even when he's not trying to stress heal. It's beautiful. I'm gonna go for the party heal now. The amount of damage that the Vestal would actually push out is abysmally low. We're two damage off killing you. We're zero damage. We're negative two damage off killing you. In fact, hang on. No. <laughs> it's closer to negative six. Ooh. The bigger the beast, the greater the glory. Fix our party positioning and oh my god. This expedition at least promises success. Yeah, it definitely promises success, I'll tell you that much. Alright, we'll start a stack of those. Shrine? No. Shrine, shrine? No, okay, quest location. I guess we're gonna go down here and across up there, but we're also gonna peek into this curio. God fucking damn it. All these shitty curios. Just give me some scrolls on the floor, I wanna burn them. Ugh, disgusting. Uh, but we've resisted. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not gonna have the damage to do it regardless. Ooh, that'll help. That'll definitely help. We might. Oh, totally have the damage to do it regardless. Damn. Cursed champion falls. Oh, beautiful swine heavy. You haven't even got a chance, buddy. I'm sorry that you exist, to be honest. I'm sorry for you. Oh, here's the disease. No? May as well go for the attack. The only character damaged was the Vestal, so the Vestal will heal itself there. And then resolve with a crit. A little bit more stress heal for the party. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. Please be scrolls. It's not scrolls. But here's a free torch. It's kind of important because I threw away torches earlier. Awarded to the brave and the foolhardy alike. Yeah, okay, some free contents of a sack. Finding the stuff is only the first test. Now it must be carried home. We'll pop this one directly from this area. Have you to some. Beautiful. Okay, another quest location. We've got one quest location after this. And it looks like we're probably going to scout it as well. Curio. Okay, so it has to be here or here. There's actually no other locations it can be in. Oh, hunger event. That's fine. Dispermania? I think no one has Dispermania here. Okay, we're going to try this. So now you've got 30% damage buff. If you can't start one-shotting things, then you never will. Alright, and here we go. Come on. One shot. One shot, one kill. You can do it. I don't care if they've got 33% protection. You've got it. Oh, that was actually really close. That was too health off. I think I can forgive him that. Okay. Uh, I'll actually just solidify that kill there. Maintain the offensive. We just want to focus on getting one dead. That's the way you typically want to go with these. Yep. Of course, we got two dead, so we're way ahead of the curve. That's a lot of stress. All oh, right, I'm Warren's phobic, aren't I? Ooh. Damn. You uh, you trying to tell me something here? Yeah, 
I am Warren's foe because I assumed. Roll the stun on this. Try and turn the lights a little back on as well. In fact, we do need to turn the lights back on so my sun rings are active. Uh, okay, I might have made a horrible decision. I think I might have made a really bad decision there. <laughs> I'm about to get this guy stressed out. Whoops. Oh, never mind. We're fine. Fix it. Increase his stress resist while you're at it. Uh, zap. Come on. Beautiful. Oh, nothing they can do about it. As victories mount, so too will resistance. Uh, I guess I care about busts more, but I don't care about either. Not really. Oh, there's our final quest location. Perfect. Okay, if I get no more pangs of hunger, I'll be able to still rest. But a single pang of hunger is going to remove my ability to rest now. Okay, that's done. Now we've got a curio, then a battle. I'll check the curio. Crate is empty. We'll go back into the room, then we'll rest and do all of the stress relief stuff that we can. Circle in the dark. The battle may yet be won. So this will prevent the nighttime ambush and also reduce stress for companions. So these are the two that I definitely want to do. Then other than that, I don't really have much. Mockery, all companions reduce stress. One companion increase their stress. Like, I guess I'd do that to you. Lose. So you would gain... 20 minus 15 percent so five percent of 20 is one so three you would gain 17 percent sorry 17 percent 17 stress but i would heal uh 23 okay that's that's reasonable yeah it's totally the best way that I could have handled that. And we don't get ambushed because I prevented it. And leave. Don't mind if we do. Get a Berserk Master that I'm going to be able to sell for a significant amount of money as well. You become a slugger rather than deadly. I don't really appreciate that. I actually would have uh, liked to keep... Oh, no. Lethargy has to go. And the rest of these are ineffectual entirely. There is a great horror beneath the manor. A crawling chaos that must be destroyed. Okay, we get rid of this. One of these. One of these. You can't have two people doing quick draw charm, not really. Don't need all of these. In fact, I'm not even going to keep the backup. One of these. Do, 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 do. And I got another one of these on a recent mission as well. Perfect. That looks a lot better to me, and it brings our finances to a stable position. You need to remove lethargy because it's abysmal. And Bynar did level up. What? How'd that happen? I did not think that was actually going to occur. Well, it looks like we might be going into the Darkest Dungeon next time. That's like Bynard, Ballet, one of these, and probably one of these as well. Actually, I want to take Starwit though. Stress relief is going to be pretty big. I guess I wait on Starwit. So I just do like a quick mission and then do the Darkest Dungeon. All right, well, if we're going to be doing that, then we're going to be doing it next week. My name is Min Rhapsody. The name of the game has been Darkest Dungeon. And not next week, tomorrow. Next week in game, but tomorrow in real life. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourself and hopefully we'll see you tomorrow.